he would leave mass on Sundays with about 150 to 300 dollars. So what would you do? Would you steal money from? Uh, from <laughs> yeah, 100. <laughs> percent Would you steal money from? I wouldn't even blink. Welcome to Trust Us Pro, Trust Us Pro. We've got your back, don't you know? Trust us Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Yo, and my name is Mo. Trust Us Pro podcast. The number one podcast in the world. We're a numbered podcast of the, of the world. <laughs> a number. We don't know which number, but it's a number. We're back at it again. This With another confessional. <laughs> you interrupt me again, bro? You don't have to With another start. confessional. We're not- <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Manscaped. Get 20% off with code TRUSTUSBRO and free shipping worldwide. You too can have a smooth gooch. <laughs> that sounds crazy. You know how fast that thing's moving? Sounds like a jet engine. Anyways, back to our programming. Uh, w- All right, yeah, so back to our programming. We have another confession. It's pretty crazy what people post on the internet when it comes to having a little bit of anonymity. What did this guy post? Is it a guy or girl? They actually identify as a wolf on all uh, levels except for physical. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy went to a Catholic school from first to seventh grade. Devout Catholic here, or so, or so we thought. <laughs> so he became an altar boy from third grade onwards. If you don't know what altar boy is, Google it because I don't know what it is either. <laughs> I was about uh, to say I don't know what yeah. it is. Tell me, man. <laughs> no. Is that the guy that lights the candles? No, it's an altar boy. I think I think you know what altar is like. The altar is like the you know the, the where you sit. Yeah, right? where the candles are. Oh no! Yeah, they, they sit down on your knees and put your hands across your hands and like there's like the candles in front of you. You light the candles. The candles are in the front. I think so. A pew is the bench. I don't even know what a pew. I've never heard that word. Yeah, before. pew is a bench. You gotta read more books, bro. I Clear. thought you. I thought you did read books. Not those kind of books. What do you mean? There's never like an Italian mobster book that you're reading. This guy's like sitting on a pew, like praying. Yeah, so this guy's an altar boy from third grade onwards. The church was right next to the school. They needed altar boys to serve funerals or baptisms or masses. They'd call up homeboy. Damn, that's actually really smart on the churches then. Let's just have it right next door so then they can come over and just do all our chores for us. Well, I'm pretty sure a lot of like a lot of religious schools have on campus. A like, worship, place of worship? Yeah, place of worship on campus. Because like I know like one of my friends, he went to Bishop Gorman and it's a Christian school. And it cost like 15 grand a year. He wasn't even Christian. And he, they, made him, they made him go to church. <laughs> That's so funny. They make you. Yeah, they make you. Yeah, they had like Bible class in the morning. Yeah, Bible and stuff class, like that. exactly. And mass. They had to go to Sunday mass. Well, because like it's a private school, right? So it's, yeah, it's, yeah. They can have requirements for the school if like your, your the actual like graduation. Yeah, essentially with private schools, they can kind of make up their own criteria for a lot of things. Mm-hmm. I went to a private school like when I was a kid. I was taking botany and zoology in like first and second grade. What the hell? I was learning, literally, I was learning the species names of animals. I did that in first and second grade. I was learning the different shapes of ones and twos and threes. Dude, I was doing long division in second grade. Yeah, I almost did fail second grade though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hated blame you. Yeah. Okay, so he's an altar boy. He'd come after school. Yeah. And, and he'd help duties. out with baptisms. He'd help out with funerals. He'd help out with like all these different things that the church needed. What a good kid. Right. Uh, yeah. Right? Good yeah. kid. He would also sign up to serve masses on Sundays, every Sunday, and he'd help out with the collections. Like the go- donations? Yeah, donations. So, like, I don't know if you've seen, like, you, like, walk around with a little little container and people put money in for donations for yeah, church. Yeah, yeah. Makes yeah, sense. For, for charity. After he would do his collections, he would dump all of the money in one big basket. However, it was during this time that he would stuff his pockets with cash. <laughs> he started with five bucks. Like, he would he'd grab, like, a five-dollar bill and, like, he'd just put it in his pocket. Are you serious? Go buy himself, he- like, a little candy bar or something. <laughs> it was from first to seventh grade. This was ongoing for years. He started off with five-dollar bills. He'd buy himself, like, candy bars or whatever. But very, very quickly, <laughs> he got the confidence to steal bigger bills, like, tens and twenties. And how would anybody know? Because no one knows how much someone donated. No, no. Because, like, they're just trusted, like, to bring it to the back and put it in a big pile and, like, They'd count it at the end of the day. Dude, back then when you were a kid, that $20 feels like a fortune. Yeah. So to give you some backstory, this is actually in 1996 to 2001. $20 this, went a long way back then. A long way. That's a lot of money. Yeah. It got to the point where he was stealing all the big bills and only leaving dollar bills. <laughs> he would leave mass on Sundays with about 150 to $300. Damn. Each week. Each week? Each week. This guy was making a minimum wage job. or my, Actually, more, more than, than that. that. <laughs> more than minimum wage. He had a full-time job. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Damn, that means he was making like almost a thousand dollars a month. Yeah, by seventh grade, you're what, thirteen years old? So from like from like first grade, what you're like six to thirteen to twelve. Yeah, so like six years. Yeah, six years. This guy was making a thousand dollars a month. That's insane, man. That's crazy. What are you doing with all that money? And also, don't you feel guilty? (laughs) He must have bought a lot of candy. 
He said, he said, I never got caught, but I just stopped doing it one day out of guilt. Afterwards, the scandal started blowing up globally of priests being pedophiles and suddenly didn't feel guilt anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he used that to justify I, his guilt? Yeah. I mean, I get it, but he, at the end of it, he said, it is what it is. <laughs> it's really funny because I would have thought that the replies would be, you know, like crazy about how... You shouldn't do that in a church? You shouldn't do that in a church. But it was all like, F that. Like, do you, you do you, bro. Like, <laughs> they're all basically, supporting him. Basically they're supporting like, him, yeah. They're like, don't feel guilty. You should feel proud. You should feel proud. Oh, yeah, Reddit, you've done a service. Reddit is very anti-religious. It's really funny. <laughs> Reddit is very like one-sided on a lot of stuff. A lot of things. Yeah. So when it comes to like religion, Reddit is like super, super anti-religion. And then also when it comes to men versus women, it's very pro-women. <laughs> like a lot of the relationship <laughs> advice posts are always like, leave him, leave his ass. Like, do you go queen? You know, like stuff yeah. like that. And I even then, see a post right now. It says Reddit is a very consistent and anti-religious ideologies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah it's true. like they, they're very self-aware of what they are. <laughs> yeah. See, I, I just don't feel, understand how you like don't don't feel guilty stealing from a place of worship, no matter what religion it is. Like yeah, whatever. just have a respect for people, even yeah. if you don't believe in it, at least have a respect for people and like the religion, you know? Right. Even if you don't follow religion, don't you believe in karma? You doing something bad, like don't you think something bad's gonna come back around to you? I mean, but that also comes from like a sense of, you know, faith. Spirituality. Or, yeah. or uh, morality even. So what would you do? Would you steal money from... Uh, from? <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> would you steal money from... <laughs> I wouldn't even blink. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> that's crazy. Dude, a thousand dollars a month at like twelve years old, bro. This guy, see ya. This guy, dude. I think an Xbox back then was like what two hundred bucks. You could have bought like five of them. Oh my god, a month. Oh my god, every I could, month. I would have been a millionaire by now if I had that kind of money back then. Just put it all in Bitcoin. <laughs> back in the day before even it came out. See ya. You're like a six year old. Yeah. Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> all the talk about me, like about morals and like believing in faith, and all, yeah, of, a sudden, all of a sudden, I would do it too. No, yeah, but let us no, know. No, but I would though. You would? Yeah. I don't think you would. You have a guilty conscience, bro. <laughs> you can't do that. No, nah, I wouldn't do it. Um, I would. What? Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. I wouldn't do it. I would do it. I can't steal anything. I have a very guilty conscience. Do you? Yeah. But I feel like you convince yourself that your guilt is uh, mis misplaced. Like this guy. I steal people's hearts because I'm so charming. <laughs> <laughs> it's true <laughs> no, I'm playing. i don't know about charming but definitely steal yeah people's let us, hearts yeah i don't know i feel like uh and their sense of happiness <laughs> dude what would you do if you had a bowl of cash in your hand and you're just like oh it wouldn't hurt if i just take one yeah but then you progressively take like majority okay, of it but that's the thing dude it's a slippery slope that's why they call it a slippery slope because you take <laughs> one and you're like oh it's not that bad and you're like maybe i'll just take two next time and they're yeah. like, you know, I've been taking two for a while. It's not that it. bad. So it. maybe three. Well, I guess, I guess the moral of the story is this guy eventually grew conscious and stopped. I wonder what the church was thinking where they're like, damn, we used to get 20s back in the day. Yeah. Now that <laughs> little Jimmy over here, inf <laughs> inflation's higher. And now all of a sudden we're just getting $1 bills. Like what's going on, man? That's hella funny. Like our church is drowning. <laughs> it was a dot-com bubble. <laughs> <laughs> That's freaking crazy. Let us know your thoughts on the story. And if you do the same or if you would condemn this behavior. I feel like a lot of people would agree in the fact that it wasn't that bad. I think it's pretty bad. <laughs> I think it's pretty bad. The, okay, think about it in, in a different context, right? This is like a place of worship. So obviously we have that mental image where like we shouldn't be doing that, right. right? But now think about it like this, okay? You used to work in a restaurant. Yeah. Imagine instead of paying checks, you would just walk around with a bowl and everybody just dump the cash from each table into the bowl. <laughs> I'd be like, I think today I deserve a little more. <laughs> I deserve uh, you would, 20. I, you're not telling me you wouldn't take something from that. No. If there was no way to check. If there was no way to check, let me if think. If you wouldn't get caught. Nah. Like, cause like, think about it, right? So, I mean, like, sometimes, so, sometimes here's the thing. Sometimes like if I had a big party, or if I had a party of like four, for example, and they ordered a shit ton of food and they tip me a dollar, I would automatically 15% it. That's charging the customer, right? But like now, but oh, I'm saying but the opposite. Oh, stealing from the owner? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I can't do that, bro. But you wouldn't, but what I'm saying is the owner wouldn't know because in this scenario, yeah, he wouldn't charge per food, right? He would just be like, give what us whatever you want, like a donation. Oh, I see. Okay. And then he just expects whatever it comes. That's what he gets. You're saying you wouldn't take something out of that pot. I probably wouldn't, dude. I can't. I'm serious. I just can't. I, just, I don't have it in me to steal. <laughs> yeah, I probably wouldn't either, to be honest. I, yeah, I can't. I can't. And honestly, I like the owner too. Poor guy. That's different though. He, don't... Treat, he treated me like <laughs> <shit>, but <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He was a good guy. Yeah, he was a good guy. He made so much money off you. <laughs> <laughs> he paid me minimum wage for years. <laughs> and you ran his store. I did. You ran the restaurant. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you would do in this situation. Yeah, please like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can become one of the first people in the world to watch our videos.
Okay. First and foremost. That has bragging rights. Yeah. You're welcome. It's a privilege. We'll see you on the next one. Again, I'm Yo. And I'm Mo. Peace. Deuces.